Governor Bobby Jindal is now finally publicly joining the fight to stop high insurance, uh, flood insurance rates from taking effect for thousands of people here in Louisiana and across the country. This comes as Congress has yet to reach any type of consensus deal, and if nothing is done, thousands of homeowners across the country and in southern Louisiana could end up paying tens of thousands of dollars more, making in some cases their homes unaffordable. Antoine Harris is live at West End with what the governor has to say. Yeah, Mike, again, the governor is asking Congress to just delay any rate increases, as you mentioned. Uh, premiums could skyrocket to tens of thousands of dollars, making their homes for, uh, for homeowners very unaffordable. Again, in his letter, the governor did ask uh, for Congress to look at any other options. He says there are, quote, better and more fiscally responsible solutions that are available. Now, this is all part of the Bigger Waters Flood Insurance Reform Act, which calls for FEMA and also other agencies to make a number of changes to the way the National Flood Insurance Program is run. Now, some homeowners in this state have been confronted with premiums that can range anywhere from 3000 to 33000 or much more. It just depends on the home and, of course, the risk involved. Now, this would have any potential home buyers uh, reconsidering their options, especially in areas that are considered flood prone. So about half a million homes and businesses here in the state have this federal flood insurance program. Now, the House has adopted, or the Senate rather, has adopted a measure uh, that will delay any flood insurance rates to hike for the next uh, four years. They are expecting the House to look at a similar version, and that is supposed to happen on Monday. So we'll see what happens then. That's the latest here live on the West and Antoine Harris, Eyewitness News.